Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing something for the first time actually. I've never downloaded or used any custom content and I really wanted to try it so I decided to just do it and yeah now I looked at some custom content and I decided to download a few packs by Felix, Andre, Sim and Harry CC. I'm not sure if that's actually their name. I assume not or maybe. I don't really know. But yeah, I looked at the different like custom content, content on YouTube and I found those names mentioned quite a lot and I thought why not give it a try. And I actually downloaded four packs that they have the living room set and the kitchen set as well as the bathroom set and the uh, like um, children's set so the um, tiny travelers I think it's called and yeah those four I downloaded and I thought with those I can actually manage like a whole house and build something out of that so yeah I decided to use that and I also decided that I would mostly use that, so of course some items I will take from the base game, but wherever I could, I tried to use the custom content. And I also tried to match a little bit with the base game, so for example, the doors into the bedrooms and the bathroom, they are base game, but I think they match quite well. And yeah, now I'm doing some windows, as you can see, and I really like those windows. Of course, we have similar ones in the base game, but um, yeah, I just thought why not use those. They fit quite well with the aesthetic that I was going for. And yeah, now I am finished with like the general layout of everything, and I also already painted the outside. Now I'm painting the inside, the walls of there and as you can see it's quite like there's a few fun colors with that custom content set and yeah I wanted to use some of them I think the that most of those like fun wallpapers are from the tiny travelers pack but I'm not sure I didn't really look at it um, maybe just later I will de-install, I don't know, um, the packs and just use one pack and build like a bathroom and a uh, like, toddler's bedroom and so on. So I actually know what is in each bedroom. Here I actually had difficulties with like the layout of how you see the different swatches. So um, as you saw, when I clicked on the counter that I had already put down, I couldn't like reach the top swatches. So I'm not sure how I was supposed to do that. But yeah, that was a little bit weird. But it didn't really matter. I thought I would just use the default. I thought the default looked fine enough, so I decided that it would be fine to use that. Now I'm in the parents' bedroom and putting down some stuff. There wasn't a bed for the parents because I didn't have a bedroom pack, I just had the toddler pack. Of course the toddler, they actually have beds but not for parents so yeah. I knew that going into it and I think the bed that I chose actually fits quite well with like the wallpaper and the general like aesthetic. I also put down some armchairs. I think they look a little bit like rocking chairs. But yeah, I put them down in one of the corners and now I'm in the um, children's bedroom, in the toddler bedroom in this case. And I decided to use the bedspread with the flamencos on them. I honestly, I thought where is like the bed frame? Because I knew that with custom content that there would be a bed frame and like the bedspread separately. So you can change the color separately which is really cool but the um, like bed frame wasn't there when I was in the like beds category so I was like wondering where it was 
and I thought maybe I would have had to download something separately for that but later the mystery will be solved the like bedspread is uh, the uh, bed frame is just not categorized in the beds so yeah that is a little bit weird I think but yeah I did find it later so it was fine in the end but yeah I was a little bit like confused but I just put it down and I thought it looks real enough I'm not sure if it would actually be functional so where the function of the bed is in the bed frame or the bed spread so yeah I didn't plain test it maybe I should have but yeah I didn't because yeah in the end I did find the bed frame so yeah it was fine but it's actually something that I, I'm kind of curious about now maybe I will play test it but yeah I'm not really sure I'm not playing all that often so for me it doesn't really matter if it's functional or not but yeah in the end I did find it of course so yeah I didn't have to like upload anything with like just the bed um, spread on it so it was fine and yeah that is of course something that I or you have to keep in mind if you want to download it this house you would have to have the custom content packs that I used here so the four packs which yeah and here you can see that I found a bed frame and I put it down of course and now I'm outside and I put down a table for the outside but then I went back inside and I put down some shelves in the kitchen I also put down lights and I thought it would be like a cool accent to have the lights really low in the living room in that one corner of the like um, couches so yeah I thought it looked cool kind of and then I moved through the other stuff so I decided to just have the show all and so scroll down so I wouldn't miss anything of course in this like first look that I had here I did miss some things and I didn't use some of the things of course it doesn't make sense to have like several toddler beds if I just want one bedroom so yeah of course I did like not use some of the things that are in the packs but I think I at least looked at everything with like the show or scrolling that I did but yeah I think I will use it again just so I actually know what's in it I'm not sure I don't think I will use it regularly but I think sometimes it would be fun to just look at some custom content and yeah use it for some builds but co of course I will like put down the packs that I used in each of the builds when I upload it to the gallery so yeah it's not a problem let's say and yeah I just thought it would be fun to actually try it for the first time and yeah as you can see I did have some fun or I think it was fun so I am going to be doing it again I think and now I'm in like one corner of the backyard and I just decided that that would be like the garden area I then have like the rest of that strip basically is like the play area for the kids and then I had like a seating area with those kind of marble chairs I'm not sure if it's actually supposed to be marble but it looks a little bit like it and also the hot tub with two lounge chairs and with the like play area I think I was kind of creative I put like the swing that is supposed to like hang from the ceiling I put it in a tree so it looks like it's hanging from a tree and I did the same thing with that round tent I thought that would look really cool and have like a cool effect so I really liked that idea and yeah I just use it because I thought why not and now I'm in the plant se section and as you can see I'm putting down lots of plants I really enjoyed them because they like they are really realistic and look cool and I thought 
yeah, new plants are always kind of exciting, I think, because I really like using plants as like decoration. It's just really fun. And yeah, now I'm looking at the wall decor and pictures and putting down some of them and uh, also some curtains, of course. And I really like them because they are kind of sheer. So yeah, it looks really cool, I think. Of course, I think in like real life, you would want sheer ones in like more the public areas in the bedrooms you would actually want ones that are opaque and like really cover the sun so yeah if you want to sleep in you could do that uh, but yeah in the sims it doesn't really matter so i didn't really care and also i really wanted to focus on actually using all of the different things in this like custom content so I decided to not use base game whenever it's possible and of course I already had curtains so I didn't need to use the ones from the base game so it was fine. And now I'm looking at other stuff. I wanted to put down some of that trim but I decided against it. It just look, didn't quite look right so yeah I just ignored that like overhang of the columns. And now I'm doing some more clutter items. Honestly, there are so many clutter items in those custom content packs and really good ones as well. Especially like for example, the like magnifying mirror or something. I'm not sure how it's called, but that's basically the function. So you can move it towards you. And I thought that is a really neat idea. I wouldn't have thought about of that if, yeah, something had someone had told me that would be a possibility i wouldn't have thought of it of it i think at least and now i'm changing the roof because i just wasn't quite happy with it so i decided to change it last minute and now i'm finished now you can see some screenshots of the build i hope you like it you can download it from the gallery my id is tgg sims same as my YouTube channel name. I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Thanks very much for watching and have a great week. Bye!